Uh, I don't have a lot to tell you. Um, you know, again, I thought our seniors today really, uh, really competed at a very high level. I don't think Avery shot it as well, but uh, I thought he was very good defensively with energy. Uh, City, I thought, was fantastic. Um, really needed him today, and uh, I thought he just he played a terrific game, um, 12 and 9. And then JB was great as well. Uh, just that's a hard team to play against. They do a great job of, of you know, limiting touches and making it hard to get into rhythm. You know, I think that was certainly evident early when we were a little bit shaky with the ball and had <clears throat> a bunch of turnovers in the first 12 minutes of the game, but we really settled down, played much better. Um, you know, unfortunately, we just didn't finish the game. Coach, uh, it seemed like you got the shot you wanted uh, yeah. from Reed at the end. He's made some clutch shots in, in other games. Yeah, we did. Obviously, we, you know, we had a double screen going on for Avery, and if he thought Avery was open and wanted to pass it to Avery, he could throw it to Avery. Uh, if he wanted to go score, he could go score. And, uh, you know, he, he backed him off. He spun. He probably had a little bit more time than he realized and just let it go a little quick. Um, but, I mean, he got to 12, 13 feet from the bucket, and he's, he's our best player at that. So, um, you know, that's, that's one you live with. You know, he probably – the one that we needed back was the, the corner shot or shot on the high wing corner or whatever you want to call it that uh, – he rushed that one, and that one was that was a bad shot, and that led to a fast break and a layup for them. I think that's that was the one possession that I didn't really like. Uh, Shelton got in the lane a couple times late, and you know, didn't wasn't able to finish. There was some contact, but you know, uh, so you're trying to be aggressive. It's hard against Florida State to run run a bunch of set plays. We, we were going to try to run one out of the out of the uh, timeout sideline for JB, but. They did a good job again. They're just their length and pressure is hard to have rhythm and flow, and so they, they took it out of his hands um, and made it hard for us on, on the possessions. Brian, it's got to be getting old to have to go in that locker room and, and see those guys. Yeah, after, after you know, you feel for them because you know how hard they're they're working and the time they're putting in, and you know it's painful. Um, it's it's hard when you work and put your energy and effort and emotional. Uh, the emotional side of you into all of these games <clears throat> and you don't get rewarded. That, that, that part is very difficult. Uh, having said that, you know, it's hard not to be proud of this, this group of guys for the way that they're playing in terms of good basketball. Uh, I think we had three turnovers the last 30 minutes of the game. Um, you know, had a bunch of guys make some big time shots and plays. Um, you know, defensively, we were pretty good in the game. We had a, we had a few. We really have about. It seems like we have about ten possessions a game that just are bad defensive possessions where we give the other team layups or baskets. And uh, I really think when I look at the year that that's a lot of our problems. Um, and you're going to have some of those, but we just have we have two or three too many a half um, that. For whatever reason, it's a back cut. It's a, we look at the ball screen and they beat us ISO to the rim. We give up a layup or we come over and help and it ends up being a dunk. We just have just a little bit of defensive discipline issue that needs to be better. And because of that, we're giving up you know, a few more points than we should be giving up. And uh, I, I really think the longer I'm doing this with this team, that you know that just continues to be the bugaboo of this team. It's not as many other things. You know, rebounding, you know, was pretty even today in a game against a group of guys that are monsters. Defensively, we did an unbelievable job on Bacon and Isaac in the second half. Now, because of that, you put a lot of energy and space, and you have to kind of guard those guys a little tighter, so that creates more space for a guy like Mays, um, who's able to get inside you a little bit and some create some other things. Um, but again, I thought our energy and effort were great. There was some good playmaking. When you play a team like Florida State, it's never going to be as pretty as it's going to be against some other teams because they kind of force you to go make plays. And uh, I thought for uh, maybe the first eight minutes, I thought we were a little shaky, you know, almost trying too hard and had some bad turnovers. But after that, I thought we really settled down and did a lot of things we wanted to do.
you uh, did a good job getting to the free throw line and making them. Yeah. Unfortunately, Florida State also shot 82% at the free throw yeah, line. Yeah, both but teams were aggressive, and I thought both teams, you know, really took advantage of the pressure that the other team was putting on and, and put the officials in positions to try to make calls. Yeah, it's crazy. I know we've talked about it. I, I, you know, it's like teams are shooting 79 or 80 percent against us from the free throw line. It's like, you know, um, and that's part of what I'm talking about, where we have some bad possessions and we foul, and now we allow teams to go to the free throw line and beat us at the free throw line. And uh, you know, in this game, it was it was basically even, um, so that really wasn't the case. But that, if you're a really good defensive discipline team, you 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 know, you have eight or ten less free throw attempts for your opponent. By and large, this year, we have done a good job of playing without fouling. We're one of the teams that fouls the least, I think, in our league. Um, so we're usually pretty good on that. Today we weren't quite as good. Um, Grantham got the start today after DeVoe started down at, or yeah. up at Virginia Tech. Um, has, has that been one, one of the biggest struggles is, is finding consist consistency uh, from the Yeah, first... I mean, we've had those guys. I thought Dante played well today. Um, I really did. And it's not all about points with him. Like, you know, he was a better matchup for us. I mean, he basically played point guard again kind of like at South Carolina um, for about eight minutes there, it felt like, uh, and I thought he was really good. And, you know, he made a big three, had a nice back cut lob. You know, he really was out there because of his length and size to help guard like the Bacons and Jonathan Isaacs of the world. Um, you know, and I thought he did, did well. And sometimes that kind of goes unnoticed with his play. Um, we all want him to score a little bit more. You know, he needed to rebound better today. He didn't really get involved on the glass. But I thought his – he had a real positive game in a lot of ways. Um, you know, his his ball handling, distributing was really good. His defense was, was pretty doggone good. Uh, and his size and length was a factor in the game. He just – like there's some things that go on in the game that the size just makes a difference. And uh, it's little plays. It's little contests. It's just – length in terms of posting up and obviously that's the thing that Florida State really benefits from you know they 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 can limit your touches they can limit you getting the ball to the guys you want to as well switch more things and that those are things that go unnoticed by Dante that he does to help us anything else guys thank you thanks everybody